Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is brought to you by IC Graphite Pads. That's Innovation Cooling, which was good enough to provide several of these pads for me to play around with and show you just how easy it is to mount one of these pads to your CPU in place of thermal paste and get your system up and running with a thermal solution that will not degrade over time like traditional thermal paste. Now, that's not the only benefit to these graphite pads. The other big one that I see is that regardless of how cold or warm your system is running, maybe it's super cold like LN2 overclockers will run systems or maybe it's just super hot because it's stuffed away in a closet somewhere and it never moves and you never clean your dust filters these graphite pads will not degrade regardless over time so as long as you keep your dust filters on your PC chassis clean you're not gonna see a degradation in performance whatsoever now before I forget to let you know I will leave any relevant links down below if you want to go and try to buy one of these and install it on your system but my task that I was given by innovation cooling is really simple I just want to show you guys how how to put these things on your system. Now, one thing I wanna point out before we get started is these pads are actually meant to be compressed a little bit. So if you see minor creases in these pads when you first get them from uh, Amazon or wherever you happen to be buying them, then you may see some very minor creases. And I did test this out and there is no performance hit whatsoever. In fact, once you apply the pad to the system and then remove your cooler later on, you'll notice those creases have been largely smoothed out. And again, there's absolutely no performance difference and I did test this I'll show that in the graph later in the video now to get started the first thing you're gonna want to do is lay your system down flat so you can just set the graphite pad on top of the CPU just like any traditional cooler you're gonna want to go with opposing corners as you tighten down the screws but other than that it is that simple you're just putting the pad in place of the traditional thermal paste and the one thing you do have to watch for is for that pad to slide around because it is very easy with these pads being completely dry, you stick it on there and it just kind of falls off of the CPU. So for that, I do have a couple of homebrew solutions. These come from overclockers, but they are very valuable if you wanna get a little bit easier on the application process. And I wanna show both of those just so you have all the information available. Now, method number one does actually require a little bit of thermal paste. Again, this comes from extreme overclockers, putting just a tiny dab of thermal paste in each of the four corners on the IHS before applying the pad. Now that thermal paste, instead of spreading out, if you use little enough, it'll just act as an anchor to hold the pad down while you apply the CPU cooler and you won't have to worry about it sliding around. No muss, no fuss there. So that was homebrew method number one. The second homebrew method that I actually prefer is actually licking this thing exactly like an old fashioned stamp that doesn't have any sort of self adhesion to it. And the reason for that is you're still anchoring the actual graphite pad down to the CPU and you don't have to worry about any extra material, whether it be a little bit of thermal paste spreading out and getting down into the socket itself. All you have to do, take it and give it a lick and stick it on the CPU. Now you will wanna definitely do a better job than I did with straightening it out when you put it on there. And with that, you have a graphite pad that's not moving around while your CPU cooler is being mounted. And because it's just a graphite pad, it's a mineral, it does not hurt you, it's non-toxic, it's not like you're gonna swallow it and die, that sort of thing. So you should be good to go on that front. And uh, those are the two homebrew methods that I would recommend for actually mounting these things because it does make the mounting of the cooler a lot easier, just not having to worry about the thing sliding around. Regardless of what method you go with, there is absolutely no performance difference as this graph shows. And I even threw in the uh, temperatures of when I creased this thermal pad a bunch before I applied it. There's literally no thermal performance difference whatsoever with any of these methods that you use. So regardless of which of these three methods you decide to go with, you should be good to go on your new graphite pad. And the great thing is you should be good to go for years to come. So that's really it guys. That's as easy as it gets for applying this thermal solution. It's actually not that much different than thermal paste. So if you like this video, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things help out the channel. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you guys in the next video.